Oh, hi, it's me, Jester. So sometimes when I was little, I wouldn't be able to sleep and mama would be working and the traveler would come visit me and he um, would tell me bedtime stories. And one time he said, Jester, what brings sweeter dreams than the promise of a little treasure? Lay back and let me tell you about how to find Picador's Plum. And he told me that across the sea there's this big, beautiful city ruled by a secret dragon, whatever that means. And from there you have to go four days north. On dusk, on the fourth day, you will come across a grove of trees, which, you know, is pretty special in and of itself being in the middle of a desert. But one of the trees in this grove grows an a special Elysian fruit. Now you have to pick this fruit, but don't eat it. If you eat it, you'll be doomed to like stay in the grove forever or whatever. And then from there you head four days to the northwest and you will come across a boulder the size of a heart. No, the shape of a heart. Yeah, that's what it was. And underneath the boulder lives a hippogriff named Okarna. Now you give her this Elysian fruit and she will become entranced with love for you. Now, after she does that, you have to sing her a beautiful song that goes, Ah, those notes, exactly. And then she'll allow you to get on her back and she will fly you to this cave of wonders where you will find a magical treasure. Now, the traveler never told me what Picador's plum was, but um, I think it's got to be pretty amazing. You know, like maybe a dog in a dress that does a little dance. I'm not sure, but I'm excited to find out. Okay, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Hello, I am Jester. That's not it at all. Um, here we go. Hello, my name is Jester. Uh, sound like Borat. Um, okay, so, you know, um, I live... I, you know, I'm, I'm, oh boy, this is going off the rails real quick. I'm going to start over. Holy shit, Laura Bailey. Hello, my name is Jester and, you know, um, I live in this house and, um, my mom, she tells me stories growing up, but she's, you know, if she's too busy because she has a job doing things, you know, stuff. And um, so the traveler would sometimes tell me stories and he told me a story about um, a delicious desert plum named Persephone that you would have to travel five days into the forest to find. It's weird that you would find a desert plum in a forest, but that's okay. Um, so, and once you get there, then you would travel three days east of um, Nicodranus and you would go to these uh, you would travel this three days east and you would find um, a hippogriff that lives there and the hippogriff's name is Shwami Shwoopy Shwoopy is the name Samsonite <laughs> oh god I'm rethinking everything at this moment so you get there and you talk to this hippogriff named Shmoopy and you give him the desert plum and you hang out, you know, and you have a good time. And, you know, Traveler told me... <laughs> the Traveler told me this story and he has many more stories, but um, that is just the one that he told me for today. So that's it. It's okay. Goodbye.